simple economy and its basic problems. Learning objectives. At the end of this module, you will be able to identify the meaning of a simple economy and understand the basic economic problems of an economy. An economy refers to an association through which individuals earn their living. Individuals in an economy or society need various goods and services to satisfy their unlimited needs and desires. An individual generally needs to have food, clothes, a residence, education for their children, a car, and so forth. But, due to limited resources, mainly money, individuals cannot acquire all the things they want. They may only have a few goods to satisfy their unlimited requirements. For example, individuals may have food and clothes. They may be able to provide for their children's education. But not all individuals have a car due to a lack of financial resources or money. Let us understand the meaning of economy with the help of an example. Four friends live in a small village. Sunil, Rakesh, Abhishek and Brijesh are in different professions. Sunil is a farmer who has four acres of agricultural land. He plows the land with the help of family members and farming equipment. He produces food grains like wheat and rice on his farm. A part of the produce is used for family consumption while the surplus produce is sold in the market, which generates money for Sunil. This money is used by him to satisfy his other wants, like clothing, a residence, services of doctors, teachers, and so forth. Rakesh, who is a doctor, has his own clinic in the village. Here, he treats the patients to earn money. Rakesh also uses the money earned to satisfy his needs. Next, Abhishek is the owner of a textile firm. He has five power loom machines, ten labourers and raw materials in the form of yarn. With the help of the labourers, machines and raw materials, his firm produces clothes. Abhishek may keep some of the clothes produced for himself and his family. The remainder is sold in the market. With the money earned from sales, he satisfies his other requirements. Finally, Brijesh is a school teacher. He teaches in one of the government schools to earn his livelihood by way of a monthly salary. So, here we have observed that all four friends are engaged in the production and provision of different goods and services in order to earn some money. You will observe that each of them uses some resource at hand, like their own services, land, farm equipment, machines and labourers etc. to fulfil their desires. At the end of the year, each of them decides to purchase a car and bungalow. First they construct their houses, but when they go to purchase cars, they realise that they do not have sufficient money. They discuss between themselves the reason why they do not have sufficient money to purchase cars. Finally, they discover that Sunil, who is a farmer, could not produce more food grains with just four acres of agricultural land. And Abhishek, who is a firm owner, could not produce more clothes with just five machines. So, when they sold their products in the market, they actually earned a limited amount of money. Further, the incomes of the doctor and teacher are also limited, compared to their needs. Now, they realise that they had limited resources with which to produce goods and services. Just as the resources of individuals are limited, similarly, the resources of society are also limited, in comparison with the total demand of society. Here, 
we have observed that since our needs and desires are unlimited, it is not possible to satisfy them all with limited resources. Therefore, we have to give up or postpone some of these wants. In this case, the four friends decided to give up or postpone their idea of purchasing cars. The problem of limited resources and unlimited wants is faced by all individuals. Therefore, society has to utilize the limited resources in the best possible way in order to satisfy the unlimited wants of all the people. Let us understand how a society or an economy uses its limited resources in the best possible way. Here, an economy has to see which goods people want more of and which goods they want less of. Then, it needs to increase production of those goods which are in higher demand and decrease production of those goods in less demand by people in the society. For this, an economy has to move or transfer some resources, like land, laborers, and machinery from production of one good to another. This is known as allocation of resources. In the case of our four friends, for Sunil to increase production of food grains from 400 to 500 kilograms, some of the resources need to be shifted from the production of clothes and allocated to him. But since the resources are limited, it means that we only have those from within the friends group to draw on, as there are no more available. So, for this, we have to transfer some of the resources from Abhishek, who is a firm owner, to Sunil. Let us assume that genes are produced in large quantity. We can therefore divert some of the resources from the production of genes to the production of food grains. In this way, by shifting the resources from production of one good to another, the limited resources can be used in the best possible way. Once the goods and services are produced, they have to be sold in the market. Here, for our understanding, we have taken the story of four friends who are engaged in the production of different goods and services. However, in the economy, it is much more complex because there are unlimited goods and services available. Therefore, we observe that the allocation of the limited resources available to the economy and the distribution of final goods are the two basic economic problems faced by an economy. Thus, due to the limited resources and unlimited wants, another economic problem of choice arises. The basic problems of an economy are therefore related to what to produce and in what quantities, how to produce these goods, and for whom to produce these goods. Let us now look at each of these economic problems in detail. We will first start with the problem of what to produce and in what quantities. An economy produces goods and services to satisfy the needs of its people. As we have seen, these needs are infinite. However, resources such as land, labor, capital and raw materials are limited. So, this mismatch of limited resources and unlimited human requirements creates the problem of choice. That is, what and how much to produce. Similarly, in an economy, the allocation of resources is decided by assigning priorities. For instance, higher priority is given to the production of food, clothes, shelter, and for education, health services transport services, and other essential goods and services. Less priority is given to luxury goods, like cars, iPods, and so on. The next question relates to production quantities. How much of a particular good should be produced utilizing the available limited resources? In any economy, the question of whether to produce more essential goods or more luxury goods always arises. Moving ahead, we will now learn the second problem of an economy. 
how to produce these goods. Let's continue with the case of Abhishek. He decided that he wants his firm to produce 100 jeans and 100 shirts every month. Now he has to consider another basic economic problem: how to produce these jeans and shirts. Abhishek can use either hand loom or power loom to produce his goods. The power loom is capital-intensive technology, while the hand loom is labor-intensive. The power loom uses machines to produce jeans and shirts, whereas the hand loom uses more laborers for the same result. What Abhishek decides to use depends upon what is available in large quantities and at low prices. In a country like India, where capital-intensive technology such as power looms are expensive and labor is cheaper and easily available, it is advisable to use the hand loom. So, by selecting labor-intensive technology, Abhishek was able to solve the problem of how to produce. Similarly, the economy also faces the problem of how much of each resource it possesses should be used in the production of different commodities. Moving ahead, we will now see the third basic economic problem of for whom to produce these goods. In the above case, Abhishek has produced both jeans and shirts. These products should be distributed or sold in the market. In fact, the problem of how to distribute goods and to whom they should be distributed also arises. Some services will be distributed for a price, while others, such as elementary education, health services, and so forth, are distributed for free by the government, for example. So we observed in this module that most basic economic problems are related to the production and distribution of goods and services.